Welcome to yet another video review on our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about the new Swarovski ELO range, so the orange EL range. As you probably know if you are following our videos, um, this is now the third review of this product. Basically the first generation which was introduced in 2011 was the first which we did a review on. Then in 2015 the second generation came out which is basically the same like this one. And then now this year in 2018 in March at EVA in Nuremberg, uh, Swarovski have shown the orange version of the EL range, so the O range. Um, to put things short, the main difference is the orange color. As you know, this is the new hunting color. We had an interesting saying on this year's EVA that this is uh, the orange is the new black. In reality, in hunting community, the orange is the new green. Um, I personally like orange very much, <laughs> so for me it was not such a big surprise to see this uh, binoculars in this color. Even though if you look from practical point of view, uh, we hunters we usually use orange color on driven hunts where there is no real need to measure the distance. But still, uh, the orange is nice and I would say it's a new trend in hunting that uh, people go with orange and I have to also be honest that this particular binoculars I will most probably use because they are of orange color. Um, apart from the, from the color nothing really changed. Uh, the biggest change between the first and the second generation was uh, this convenience pack, so the new uh, objective lens covers which are really nice and always stay attached to the, to the binoculars. The new button for the measurements and the new button on the other side for the settings. Uh, and normally this was one of the biggest uh, issues, the new system how to attach the carrying strap to the binoculars. This is a big big deal because uh, it is completely different than it was before. So this system it's much nicer than with straps because it has a normal round uh, carrying lines and it's basically just more useful. It's a small thing but it makes a big difference when you're having it around your neck or shoulders. Uh, also the rain guards, the covers for the eyepieces are also new, really soft, made out of rubber, much better than on the first generation. And now slowly all the binoculars of Swarovski are getting this convenience pack or how to say, uh, I forgot if they have the name for this, but uh, uh, this small accessories which make the use of these binoculars much better. Um, well, the whole electronic part in these binoculars stay the same, so it still measures to around 1400 meters, 1300 meters. Uh, it still offers 110 meters of field of view. Uh, the optical part and the laser part is separated due to these prisms inside. This is ergonomically not probably the best choice, but due to this construction, Swarovski is offering one of the best optical performance in the category of uh, laser range finding binoculars and probably it's the only one which is able to offer completely identical uh, light transmission rate uh, and color rendering in both tubes. So you have the same image left and right which is usually very hard to achieve with the uh, laser range finding binoculars due to the fact that um, there is a whole laser integrated um, system inside and also the, the display which shows you uh, the distance. Um, regarding the ballistics, the, these binoculars offer you equivalent horizontal range, but at this moment they are lacking the ability to insert your own ballistic data inside of the binoculars and to also take into account like the the, uh, the elevation at which you are situated, the um, um, pressure, the air pressure, the air temperature, and so on. Size and like are already a little bit ahead in this in this aspect. Uh, normally, Swarovski is probably a little bit ahead in in terms of normal optical performance. Uh, what is also I need to mention is that. Um, 1400 meters is not that much anymore considering that almost all competitors now already go beyond 2000 or even 3000 meters. 
It is true on the other hand that this is a hunting product so anything above 600 meters is already questionable uh, or let's say at 1000 meters it's already more than enough for, for hunting purposes. Uh, these binoculars normally come with all the latest Swarovski technologies like all the Swarovski coatings, Varadur for the outside surfaces to make them more durable then uh, Swarov Bright to have the uh, brightest possible image and so on. They feature Schmidt and Pechen prisms and they are really really sharp. Uh, the Swarov Aim technology which is also mentioned often basically it means that you get the equivalent horizontal range with these binoculars. Uh, they come with a 10 years warranty, 2 years on the electronic parts and as you probably know the service even if something happens is probably the best in the industry. Swarovski, Swarovski really excels in the department of service and after sales service so I would say that no matter how long the warranty is this is still one of the safest purchases uh, in this industry. They are made in Austria as you can see they have a really nice feel and touch like also before with a, with a green color. Uh, the, the opter setting is on both eyes and it's lockable as you can see. You set them and then you lock it back. Uh, why it's on both eyes? Because with one eye you compensate uh, the diopter setting uh, of your eyes and to achieve a sharper image. On the other one you uh, try to achieve the sharper display uh, reading. So you have a sharp image and a sharp display. Uh, focusing knob is also very nice. As you can see the, there is uh, no turning of the, of the central part only the outer rubber part. It gives you a really nice feel and touch so it's a really a premium high quality product. You cannot go wrong with it. Uh, the focusing is a little bit different than the other uh, Swarovski binoculars, most notably the EL. Uh, but still I would say the quality is on the, on the equal level. Uh, the eyepieces are probably among the best in industry. They have many different settings to achieve uh, best possible um, eye relief and they have really nice soft rubber on the outer part. They're also completely removable if you want to clean the binoculars and really high quality. They're really nicely made like expected from Swarovski. Um, if I make a short summary, because this is, like I already mentioned before, the third review of this type of binoculars from Swarovski. Um, for who these binoculars are meant for? I would say for those which are searching best possible optics and especially sharpness uh, in uh, laser range finding binoculars. Because usually laser range finding binoculars are not equally good in terms of optical performance compared to with normal binoculars. Probably this Swarovski EL range come the closest. This is the first reason. The second reason is for all those who are searching for a really high quality um, product. This is definitely. And the third, op uh, well, the third group of people are those which are searching for something different because let's be honest there are no other premium producers of binoculars at the moment in the world which would offer orange color. And this is something what a lot of people will like, including, including me. Um, they're really easy to recommend because of this high quality. And I would also say that the, all the accessories, they do make a difference. When you're using them, it is much better than with conventional accessories, especially the carrying strap with these cords. It's, it's a completely different story because you never well, when you try it, you understand. They never, how to say, um, well, they work better than normal straps. Um, what could be improved? Definitely some kind of ballistics and connectivity with, let's say, smartphones or something like that. This would definitely be good in 2018 or, let's say, 2019. Next year, this would be a, a really refreshing upgrade because normally the, the world is becoming digital. Uh, I also think that the range, even though it's more than enough for all hunting purposes, still it's, I would say two kilometers or even more would be more suitable for uh, this class of binoculars. And the last thing, which is a minor um, 
minor thing which I noticed is that this ELO range are a little bit more expensive than the green version. I would say it's around 150 euros or some, something like that or 100 euros of difference. And this is something what I feel it's funny because let's be honest, I don't believe that making an orange color uh, housing costs 100 euros more. Uh, so you're basically charged 100 euros more just to be a little bit special compared to all others which are in green. This is something I, what I think it's, it's funny. Um, everything else I would say, it, this pair of binoculars is really worth buying. Uh, with the binoculars you also get a nice carrying pouch, uh, a small, well, a quick guide and normally the user manual which is uh, really really extensive with many different languages and with a warranty card at the last uh, page. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if I forgot anything please use comments on this video or send us an email and normally please subscribe.